The year is 1943, and the bustling harbor at Talagi is teeming with sailors, ships, and an array of wartime activities. This particular day at the harbor unfolds into an intriguing exchange between sailors aboard the USS Nicholas, DD-449, and the native islanders of Talagi. Here are the day's events. As the day begins, sailors in dungarees stand on the pier, eyeing the natives approaching in canoes. They are trading with the natives, an animated exchange that soon culminates in a lively barter. All around the pier, sailors can be seen passing money to the natives in canoes, laughing and joking as they engage in friendly negotiations. High above the water, one can observe three natives in a canoe, intently receiving products from the sailors. The deal seems fair and square. A sailor even receives a grass skirt from a native, an exotic keepsake that will surely be treasured. The harbor is alive with naval operations too. A destroyer is seen coming alongside another ship, its silhouette reflecting in the calm waters. Nearby, an Australian destroyer pulls alongside a transport ship, and the complex process of transferring mail via the high line begins. Sailors on the transport ship are handling lines with military precision during the mail transfer, their faces focused and determined. As the side of the transport ship looms into view, mail bags are brought across on the high line, a sight that evokes a sense of anticipation among the sailors. A hook is released from the high line, and a man is seen walking down the deck with mail bags, his steps echoing the arrival of messages from home. The Australian destroyer eventually pulls away from the ship's side, leaving behind sailors who are now looking over the side of the ship, their thoughts perhaps drifting to far-off places. The atmosphere grows lighter as sailors, with shirts off, are seen wearing grass skirts on deck, a jovial celebration of their recent barter with the natives. The natives aren't done with their trading though. In boats, they continue to show souvenirs to sailors, some actively trying to sell goods while others lay back relaxing. Sailors are also seen looking at canes, and others enjoying food purchased from natives. The simple pleasure of eating bananas brings smiles to their faces. On the deck of the USS Nicholas, men are seen reading mail, their faces reflecting a mix of emotions. Some are reading over another's shoulder, others kneeling while reading letters, lost in private thoughts. The distribution of mail is an event unto itself. The mail petty officer is seen distributing mail, his face a study in concentration. Men are grouped around him, a five-inch gun in the foreground a stark reminder of the war that continues around them. Hands reach into bags, pulling out letters, and the petty officer's face tells stories as the distribution is made. Men's faces are full of anticipation as they wait to receive mail, a connection to their loved ones back home. The day's events also see the more somber scene of sailors carrying a stretcher case from one ship to another via a gangway, their fellow men standing on deck watching. As the sun dips below the horizon, the day at Tulagi Harbor with the USS Nicholas and the native islanders comes to a close. A blend of barter, camaraderie, duty, and longing for home marks this unique intersection of cultures and wartime realities. Whether it is the taste of bananas or the touch of a handwritten letter, these moments encapsulate the human spirit prevailing in challenging times. The echoes of laughter, the clank of the ships, and the soft rustle of letters being opened linger on.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.